All right, welcome back to another video. It is the weekend or the week after Mud Billies, and we're here getting ready to start our week. I was meant to come in early today to start my trailer. I didn't, I am not feeling well. The fact I haven't coughed during this intro is a good sign. However, I'll quickly give it a clean, quickly add blue, quickly diesel, and head to Co Park Whitburn for a load to the dog. Has it? Quite a blue. And fuel, quick clean on the road, easy. All right, that was my first time at Co Park. Took me an hour and a half to get loaded. I will show you in a minute. I'm just, I'm, boys, I'm dying here. I'm absolutely dying. I will show you. I promise. I just, I need, I need a couple of minutes because honestly, I'm just, I'm dying a slow and painful death here. This has been the longest drive in existence. We're three hours seven minutes in for Copa Power Burn. We're just crossing the 66. Aye, good. I've spilt my monster. My monster, my Red Bull, it's sticky all over the floor. I've still got mud footprints in this. Can... Oh, jeez, it beeps, man. But we're, we're racing for Chow. Oh, boys, that was the longest four and a half hours of my life. In fact, it wasn't as a lie, it was four hours. But we're stopped here, Weatherby Services. And the only thing that's going to make me feel better today. A katsu curry now. Hopefully, I can open it without it busting everywhere. Oh, save me! Oh. All right, just to be 45 there at Weatherby. Let's do the last hour and then let's get to bed. I honestly can't wait tonight. I'm just so can rough. I've, I just know I'm gonna be worse tomorrow, too. All right, we're here. Oh, I just picked a scab, you dirty. Oh! Quite a day that. Anyways, we're here. Obviously, don't open till 8 o'clock in the morning. It's currently half 10. I'm going to get a wee 9 off. And hopefully, tomorrow, I'm going to go into this bed and I'm just going to die. Alright? That's all I'm doing. With Netflix on. Alright. It's the next morning. I do feel a tiny wee bit better. I found some Benadryl in my little box of stuff that I keep in the lorry, inhalers and all that jazz. So man, I've been just eating Benadryl all night. I do feel a tiny wee, tiny, tiny wee bit better. Um, but let's uh, let's go and get this offloaded. It's obviously just there that we're offloading. I haven't shown you the load yet either or anything. I'm sorry, I just, I'm struggling to even record this, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> all right, so we've got a Ford Ranger. Up the front here, and as you can see, she is specced well. Got a big Ford Ranger, and now we may get in. That's the only one that runs. The other ones, not so much. All right, so we're heading to Mannheim now in Liverpool, 83 miles, um, but we've covered that obviously with costs, so we're all right. And it gets us further on down to our actual load, uh, the whole kind of start of the puzzle down the road. There you go. I thought that was a uh, TikTok banana boy there, but it's not. I don't know why I keep calling him Banana Boy. I like his lorry's yellow, eh? Alright, so I've just been in Mannheim to pick up those vans. I've not got a video with the load yet, but I will do that. But anyways, the reason we took this van load was to get us down to a back load come back up the road. Um, so I just text the guy going, Hi, I may just let you know I'll be, I'll be in Friday, just making sure everyone's alright, blah, blah, blah. And he's just got back to me and said that he's uh, sent a driver down to pick up instead. So now I'm stuck in Southampton. I hate people that cancel, if you tell somebody to do a job and they book loads to get down to that job, don't take the job away from them, you know what I mean? <sighs> Not gonna lie to you, this is strapped like an absolute silly person today, but there we go. Look the wee one up the back, bit of space for the van that we picked up these two at Mannheim. That one's still got its hazards on, but I can't be bothered. Nice wee gap there, and then of course we've blocked her up on wood to get the back end overhanging here, but it all fits on nicely. Now let's go for the offloads. Oh, I'm so ill, man. I curb my wheels coming in here as well. I have to stop it, man. I just keep curbing them. I'm gonna end up with no Michelin left. Oh, I can't be bothered. For sake, I've got a nail in another tyre. As you can see, this one is heavy flat. Oh, why does this keep happening to me, man? Oh, right, well, luckily, it's fixable, it's pluggable, but it's not handy. Uh, so we need to find a tyre shop uh, within distance here and get that fixed ASAP before it turns into a blowout and then a new tyre. 
But anyways, we stopped for fuel anyways, spoke to everywhere. It's not having a good time of it today at all. Oh boys, I'm trying to work out what to do here. This week has not went well for me. I fitted a tire on Friday, the spare tire. Um, to the trailer when I had a flat got to mud billies um, and now I've got a flat again so I don't have a spare and the whole point I have a spare is to fix this problem but the spare is still at McConaughey he's getting a new tyre put on it anyways uh, aye, we're going to have to park up with about four hours left on our card here in Swindon at Barry Shadrick Tyres and hopefully at 8.30 in the morning they can fix my tyre but it's annoying because we would have got down to Southampton and offloaded tonight and potentially turned and burned back up the road. However, that's not happened. I've got a baby scan as well um, Friday afternoon that I was going to make if everything went to plan. But as per usual, it doesn't. So I'll need to phone the missus and get in trouble now. Right, I've got two options with this tyre. First option, I drive it 30 miles, 30 minutes. Um, bear in mind, I discovered the, the, the flat tyre about four miles away from the offload. So I went and offloaded to keep the customer happy. But the tire, the nearest tyre shop is about 30 minutes for myself. Now I could drive there on the flat and get a puncture repair for 50 quid probably. If it makes it, the tyre could fall off the axle, the tyre could burst off the axle, I could get stopped. Um, all that. And theoretically, it's either going to cost me 50 quid or it falls off the axle and it's 350. 100 pound plus the VAT uh, for that tyre. Jesus, 600 quid. Yeah, it's uh, a hand cook, it's uh, a hand cook as well. It's not, it's not shit. It's, see if the nails through the bottom of the tyre, is it possible to repair it or can you not do that roadside? Do you know what? I'll be totally honest with you. If you was half an hour or so away from us, yeah, no problem at all. we we'll come out and repair it for you, but... For us coming that distance, aye. It, it wouldn't be worth it for you and it wouldn't be worth no, it for 100%, us because aye. of the cost, aye. you know? Well, I bought one of them GoPro light things and it's blinding, man. But, uh, aye, I want to call out, uh, Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm on an episode of Pedo Hunters, man. Oh, but anyways, I've decided I'm officially going to get rid of my neck. It is constantly beating me. You can even see here, we could have got that much further back, but this neck constantly beats us. So luckily it unbolts all the way along there, and then it'll bring it to that level there. And then we'll pretty much get a tractor bar fitted, and that will give us pretty much out till here. Which I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, that will make the difference. That is so bright. All right, tire changed. Middle six tires, three hours and one minute. We needed a 45 anyways, but still, she's fixed. 240 quid later, a little bit cheaper than a new tire. Aye, good. All right, so we're parked up. We are offloading literally three miles down the road in the modern for these vans. Obviously, we're meant to offload them tonight, but things didn't go to plan. However, the thing I find very funny is, this is exactly by I slept in when we went to the White Rabbit. But what, a week and a half ago? Just find that weird, you know what I mean? It's twice I've slept in this, in this random lay-by in a back road on the A337 at Southampton. Anyways, see you in the morning. All right, it's Friday morning. We're here in Southampton. Obviously the lay-by we parked in a week and a half ago. We're gonna go and drop these vans off just down the road and then we're gonna go pick our back load up and fire on home. We have had one half cancel, we're meant to have an 18 ton sweeper. He has since sent a driver out, which kinda affects my plan. The whole reason I'm down here is for him, but life. Not liking the look of this wee road, but I'm hoping she opens up because uh, I'm panicking. It's on horses. Oh, that's the horses, mind the last time they were walking on the road. I found where they live. Aye, good. Jesus. Alright. That one's dead. That's as far as we can get it. Just gotta jump it. Wait for the jump bleeds. Get her off. Alright, that's us. That's us offloaded. We've caused a bit of havoc on this wee uh, street here as folk have had to wait for us. People don't look very happy. He doesn't look very happy at all. Oh, arms crossed. Oh, he helped me with it. Arms crossed. 
What do you want me to do? Look at the size of the road. It's not as if I can. Oh, Jesus, man. They hurt me with the arms folded. Oh. I'll get some more cars. Let's see if I get hurt with any better responses than just wee waves. Maybe some, some waves. Cheers, mate. Oh, no wave. Cheers, mate. Oh, no wave. <laughs> Honestly, man. I should have driven slower. No, I mean, I'm just trying to do my job. Alright, here we are. Frill for now. We're obviously coming in here to pick this ERF up and hopefully find something else for the back so that we can make up for the lost load. That sounds like an ERF. At least we know she starts and drives, eh? Big tidy ERF. Big Durabites. This thing is fairly clean, by the way. Fairly clean. Just wants a wee bit of paint and she's good to go. What a honey. What a honey. Even got the original ERF flaps on her by the look of things. Lovely. I see original. I'm doubting myself now. Like that's built in Britain. Oh, oh, she's clean. Oh, boys. Look how fucking mint she is inside. Oh, lovely. Does it have a tachygraph? No, it does not. It's never had one by the looks of it either. <laughs> Jesus. All right, there she is, all loaded up. The winch box, obviously. The winch box, the neck box all taken down. And here's the big ERF at the front there. Lovely. Now, obviously, we had an 18 ton sweeper for this bit, which would have fit on just lovely. Obviously, same length as a tractor unit, pretty much. But no, no, that got cancelled. Oh, I could. Mate, is that Noah's Ark? Look at that! That's a metal barge, but it looks pure. I don't know what that is, man, but it looks awesome. That is cool. That is cool. There are people about, otherwise I'd jump out and have a look, but nervous. Well, there's meant to be a baby scan, but last night kind of buggered me up. But luckily, Got a wee picture, wee man's doing all right. Roll on 27th of July, if I make it. Gonna pull into limb truck wash now, I've not washed my lorry in two weeks. And I know for a fact I'm not washing it tonight or this weekend, because I'm dying. So I'll take it in here, the boys will give it a wee scrub up, and I'll get a proper wash next week, when I'm feeling, hopefully, more alive. Honestly, if this video, oh, I've got, look, I've actually had the heating up full bung. I've got my jacket on, I still feel fucking freezing. Look, that's high, full up, I'm cold, my face is all red. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. But I we've made it to Lynn truck wash. We're getting a lorry washed and then fire on the last four hours and 43 minutes. All right, we've waited 18 minutes. We've got a monster and an aero bar. That's revived me a wee bit, I'm not gonna lie. I'll go home. I'm glad I'm washing this because it wasn't getting washed. Ooh. It wasn't getting washed this weekend, that's for sure. I remember when I first got this unit and trailer, I always said to myself, I'm going to hand wash the trailer and unit. I was wrong. I gave up two months in, and to this day, I wash it with a brush. My head height, the rest, a sponge, and the trailer gets brushed. I just can't be bothered, if I'm being honest. I just. It's a working lorry, boys. That's gonna upset a few people, but he's doing a wolf and cracking job. He's getting right in about it. Yay! She's all washed. Charging that boy extra for washing his ERF, but that's her all washed and looking good. <sighs> Let's head for home. Lancaster Services. Forty-five minute break. See you later. Gone to bed. Oh, I'm getting worse boys, I thought I was getting better, I'm getting worse. Alright, still for 45, we've been an hour. I'm even worse boys, I'm going downhill. I'm not going to lie, I might even make this up for content. My heart has been at my f***ing chest. My head is pounding. The cough's gone away thanks to the cough syrup. Oh boys. It wouldn't be a Sean Thompson YouTube video. Without us finally crossing the border back into Scotland a thousand miles later, 
three days later. Aye, good. There she's there. All right, it's half ten on a Friday. We're back at yard. Thank God for that. I'm not gonna lie, this has probably been a terrible video, but this is the worst I've felt in a while. And uh, in a lorry is one of the worst places to be when you're ill, because you get no choice. Like you, you see these people all the time. You know, they got up for work and they're like, oh, I feel ill. Phone the boss. You know, sorry mate, can't come in today. That's that. With lorries, you don't have a choice, you know what I mean? I, somebody can't come get me when I'm at Southampton. I just gotta get up and drive. It's rough, eh? It is rough. But we're here. I've got the weekend off, I'm back at it Monday, obviously delivering that ERF. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I get.